Hi, thank you for having me here. My name is Amanu Lisvanos. Uh, yeah, I can use yeah, this. Yeah. Sure. Uh, from the University of Bristol and the Island Turing Institute. So what uh, I'm talking about today is um, uh, a paper I'm working with colleagues who are trying to understand the types of economic activities that take place in specific clusters, in specific neighborhoods that uh, uh, are very well known for uh, 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 specializing uh, uh, in, 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 um, uh, in, in products, in digital technologies. And we're going to use an example from uh, uh, London. We're doing this using uh, web data or archive web data, and we are hoping that by utilizing such data and techniques, we're able to understand in more detail how uh, such uh, well-known neighborhoods uh, become specialized uh, in specific sectors, specific industries, specific products. Um, economic clusters are... Um, uh, a big thing uh, in cities, there are very important neighborhoods, uh, they are uh, responsible for growth, this is where innovation tends to uh, uh, take place, and we know these things from, you know, more than 100 years ago, but uh, uh, not surprisingly, there are still quite a few empirical problems that uh, we're not able, we haven't been able uh, uh, to tackle in terms of understanding and modeling, you know, the, the, the growth of such clusters of such neighborhoods. And some of these uh, uh, problems are listed here and have to do with uh, the data we have uh, in our, uh, uh, um, we have access to in order to observe the types of economic activities. Usually researchers have access to more aggregated data. Then the industrial classifications, the typologies of industrial classifications we use tend to be quite uh, dated. So for example, in the UK, the standard industrial classification, or the SIC codes uh, uh, we're using, uh, were uh, created in 2007, which is quite dated, as you can imagine. So we cannot easily capture you know, evolving, uh, uh, evolving industries, evolving economic activities. So what we're doing here, we're using some uh, uh, web data and text analysis in order to understand in more detail these uh, exact economic activities, and we're focusing on Shoreditch. Shoreditch is um, a well-known neighborhood in, in London. It's a tech uh, uh, cluster, uh, and a lot of research has uh, taken place, uh, both qualitative and quantitative, focusing in this uh, uh, neighborhood. So, our empirical strategy, uh, we use uh, uh, archived uh, uh, web data. We're able to geolocate uh, uh, some of these uh, uh, web pages in, the, in our study area. Uh, we use, uh, and then we use the text from these commercial archived web pages in order to create topics uh, which uh, uh, in our head represent uh, bundles of uh, economic activities. Uh, these are readily available uh, uh, data, open access, everybody can, uh, uh, can use it. And um, uh, uh, in essence, we are using this data to build bottom-up classifications of the types of economic activities. And at the end, we compare our bottom-up approach with a more traditional top-down approach using some uh, uh, standard uh, standard industrial classification uh, uh, data. So, the data we use. Uh, how many of you have you heard uh, about the Internet Archive? Can I ask? Well, the Internet Archive is one, well, it's the largest archive of uh, web pages uh, in the world. It started uh, uh, crawling the, uh, uh, the Internet in, back in 1996. And uh, you can access uh, uh, these archived web content using uh, their GUI, their uh, Wayback Machine. And you can see, for example, how Bloomberg looked on a specific day in 2015. We have a, a partnership with the British Library. The British Library created a subset or, or uh, um, acquired a subset of uh, the Internet Archive, which contains all the .uk archived uh, uh, web pages for, for the period from 1996-2012. Then uh, they did something clever. They uh, 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 scanned the contents of these uh, archived web pages. Uh, to find uh, UK postcodes. UK postcodes are six or seven digits uh, 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 um, 
uh, text, uh, which, uh, uh, and, and they refer to very small areas in the UK. So this is our starting point. In essence, we start with half a billion of lines, which look like this. We know that this uh, uh, web page uh, has been archived on that specific date and time, and includes this postcode. So from that point, um, there is a lot of data cleaning. We're focusing on commercial websites. So we're uh, focusing on .co.uk uh, 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 web, uh, web pages. Uh, we try to sub we subsidize our data and we only include archived web pages which have a reference point within our area. This is Sordid in London. And then we move from archived web pages to archive websites. So we're trying to reconstruct, if you prefer, uh, these commercial archived uh, uh, websites. And I have a very simple example here. And this leads us to uh, uh, a, a quite uh, wide variety of websites regarding the number of postcodes that you have. So we can identify you know, uh, the large majority of, of, of these archived websites tend to have very few small postcodes. But there is you know, a, long, a long tail, as you can see at the right of this distribution. But this shouldn't surprise the older people in the room. Because these types of websites, websites which contain a large number of different postcodes, in reality, refer to something that we used to be familiar with. These types of these directory type of websites, like yellow pages type of websites that people used to use back on the day in order to list uh, uh, the, 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 the products, the services uh, they are offering. At the other end of this distribution, we have websites with you know very few or a unique postcode, and these websites tend to refer to specific you know, economic activities that are anchored within our uh, area of uh, uh, interest. And this is an example of a website called Geeks Nerds, and you can imagine they offer IT services uh, in the neighborhood that we're interested in. So to begin with, we focus on these websites with a unique postcode within our uh, uh, study area. Uh, we, we use the text of these uh, 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 websites to, to extract these topics. And at the second stage, we're going to, 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 to repeat our analysis for a larger subset, but I'm not going to talk about this uh, uh, now for, for, because of, of, of time reasons. So uh, we start by you know, plotting our results. And for people who are familiar with uh, the neighborhood, this is not surprising. This is where most of the activity takes place. Uh, I'm not going to focus on this. Uh, I'm going to focus on, 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 on this uh, element, though. Uh, we also plotted the number of websites per postcode just to understand you know, the spatial distribution of this uh, activity. And everything looks fine, apart from this outlier that you can't really see here. Uh, this outlier means that we have one specific postcode in our study area which is uh, linked to more than 200 different commercial archived websites. This wouldn't have been necessarily a problem if we're talking about a large area. But in essence, we're talking about a, a small building. This is what you know, postcodes uh, look like in, uh, in the UK. So it's difficult to imagine that you know, 200 different economic activities are linked with this specific uh, building. And we uh, uh, did some you know, very simple you know, Googling uh, 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 for this postcode. And we, uh, we found this that we're quite surprised, uh, 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 to be honest. This uh, represents this digital squatting you know, uh, uh, processes where businesses which are not located within this neighborhood present on the web that you know, they have some, uh, uh, some uh, presence in this neighborhood just to gain some uh, uh, benefits uh, 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 because of the reputation of the neighborhood. So traditionally, businesses gain advantages by being located within specific neighborhoods This is because of knowledge spillovers. In this case, we have uh, uh, businesses gaining uh, 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 some, some types of benefits just by uh, uh, trying to, 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 to engage with the reputation of uh, the neighborhood. 
Uh, so we uh, removed uh, uh, this postcode from, uh, uh, from our analysis, and uh, we started uh, uh, doing our text analysis. We utilized uh, uh, some simple topic modeling, and we identified four uh, uh, different topics. What is more interesting here, if, if I was able to find my, yeah, is topic number three which uh, is, uh, uh, in essence, represents what shortage is well known for. These are all the digital content uh, uh, creation uh, activities that uh, uh, shortage is well known for. We identified uh, keywords like uh, design, web, sign, on site, online, host, graphic, uh, 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 and for people who are familiar with uh, uh, the, the, the area, know that this is what shortage uh, uh, is well known for. Most importantly, this type of analysis uh, matches the outputs of uh, uh, previous qualitative research, which is based on very lengthy interviews, uh, uh, interview processes and, uh, and observations. Uh, so keep this in mind, please, for, for, for the last bit. So what we did next was uh, to, you know, again, plot the evolution of these clusters and everything looked according to our expectations. We plotted spatially, you know, the distribution of these different topics. And for people who are familiar with the neighborhood, you know, these things make sense. I'm not gonna uh, spend more time on this. Uh, we actually uh, took another subset of the data. We only included in our analysis at this stage only these websites that uh, uh, their primary topic was uh, 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 this digital content creation. And we created, uh, we ran again a different topic model uh, 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 in order to uh, produce more nuanced, if you prefer, uh, 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 topics or bundles of economic activities. And we try to summarize all of these results here. So in essence, by using the text uh, of archived commercial websites, we are able to create you know, bundles of economic activities uh, which are very close to the reality and very close to previous qualitative research. We identified you know, digital content creation type of activities, publishing and performance arts, uh, uh, interior design, and all of these are things that happen in London. Of course, we identified you know, the financial uh, uh, activities because this neighborhood is attached to the city of London. Uh, we identified the visitor and laser type of economic activities, which is also quite valid here uh, in, in this neighborhood, and also some activities related with health and education. So all of these things appear to be valid and uh, support previous research. So what, might uh, somebody ask? We, in essence, try to replicate the same analysis by using traditional data. We used uh, administrative data from uh, the UK. This is the register of uh, uh, all companies in the UK. And we used the standard industrial classification. The codes that uh, industries utilize in order to uh, uh, classify the, 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 their activities uh, for the same area and for the same uh, uh, time period. And we ended up with something like this. So the most, um, uh, the, the, the activity, the, the SIC code with the highest frequency is the following one. Management consultancy activities other than financial management. Can somebody explain or can somebody see a problem with this type of code? It's the word other. So quite a few of these codes, actually almost half of them, contain the, the word other. Almost half of the codes that you know, are, are present in our study area are quite difficult to grasp. They are residual type of uh, uh, codes. Uh, and this is something that our bottom-up analysis managed to overcome. So if you compare you know, the, the, this other type of uh, activities uh, with or typologies, with our bottom-up classification, we were, you, you can see that we're able to capture into more detail uh, the types, the actual economic activities that made shortage quite famous. And what you see here with green color 
is indeed these activities that uh, uh, um, uh, represent uh, uh, digital type of economic activities, but still uh, we, uh, they, they don't capture the whole breadth of uh, uh, sordid uh, uh, characters. So to, 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 to close, uh, we employed some underused data, uh, which is freely available. Uh, we utilize some you know, mainstream uh, or standard uh, 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 text analytic methods. And by doing that, we're able to capture the types of economic activities from a specific neighborhood uh, that traditional standard industrial classification data is not able uh, 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 to do. Um, there is more work to be done in this area and uh, thank you very much for your attention.